Well, we've just made a new widget. The widget is this one, and it's called, so for it's the widget is called Net. And I urge you not to ask all the questions on, on Article Linux Forum and, and Discord and all that, because we are beginners ourselves. Everything is written in here. This is the qtile.org, and it has everything you need to know. And I was looking at it, and I said, oh, let's make a widget. So I just did, and made a, dot, uh, a net widget. So this thing says that's the download and that's the upload. And when you are torrenting or something like that, you can follow along how it's going. But there's also something else that's a net graph. So well, why not make a net graph as well? It has some variables to use. And um, well, let's give it a go. So this is what we've just created. And let's make a graph behind it. So copy pasting, since I don't really like to type a lot. And that graph is written, written like that. So I need to graph behind it, save. And now, not sure what's gonna happen. So we're gonna reload just like that, trial and error, whatever, you know. And this is what we get. We get already something. So that's nice, Qtile did not crash and we can see something. All right, let's change the monatol here. Another layout. So net graph, mm -hmm. but we can change the background, the bent with type, download or upload. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering what I'm looking at now. Border width, there is indeed a width. So do we have that? thing no we don't have that thing so let's call call ty start typing border with an underscore he likes underscores fine border width equals zero comma since it's it's uh, okay to write a comma behind it so we don't have a border width. That's maybe nice as well. Or we just take one because two was a little bit too big in my eyes. So we have this. The color at this point in time is different than that one. So we need to make the same colors for the CPU graph. And that's the graph color is the same definition. Graph color is here. So I'm gonna copy pasting over. So this guy, control C to that guy, save and reload. Then we get this color. Still not looking still good in the sense that I want the border color to be different. Same as the CPU graph. Up save reload so that's that this bottom line is not white and it is here so border color border color fill color do i have a fill color here yes i have a fill color fill color for line fill graph dot three i'm guessing this is transparency I'm not sure but anyway I want to have something similar as the other one. So fill color and then we can start changing. All right, fill color, fill color. What else? Background colors, background colors. Yeah, we have that. So I'm comparing this thing with the other elements. It's looking more or less similar at this point in time. Now what, what it doesn't say, sorry, what it doesn't say is the bandwidth type. So bandwidth type down. And that's something we actually need to type. Bandwidth equals, and I have to check again, was it like this? With a comma, otherwise it will break anyway. Save. Yeah, it's between, um, well, these signs here. What is it called again in English? So, like this, super shift 
R is going to reload everything up and this should be my bent with down graph. We can test it later when we torrent something. Um, so background, bent tip, border color, border width, fill color, frequency, update frequency. He does that himself, graph color, interface, auto. Why didn't we get this interface auto here? We didn't get that there. So here it says an interface auto. That's interesting. And let's see. And yeah, it's working. I see something here. So let's leave it to auto. That's interesting. Now I'm wondering, of course, if this is working here as well with auto. <laughs> what if? Nope, everything breaks. Save, repeat. Okay, so this needs to actually have the actual interface and here he can figure it out himself. All right, we can live with that. Still different, I don't know why. But maybe you haven't noticed but this has this white line at the bottom and doesn't have it here and i wonder why border width border width is here one line width I haven't defined line width and that's how you figure it out, folks. With long reading, trying, comparing, crashing, saving, reloading it. Uh, this has, I think, a white line, whitish line. I think so. So there you go. Um, I have a file already present in the sense that I have a download here. Let's delete everything but our torrent so torrenting again will give me normally a spike up here in my graph showing I'm downloading and this is 42 and indeed we see here a spike going up I am downloading at this point in time um, and that's good So if I would change, if we can do that quickly, beep, beep, beep. if I change this to up, save, reload, I shouldn't be, well, I, we should see something, but this should be actually this number. If I change bandwidth to up, then 604, 550, that's the thing I should be seeing here, but since, um, well, that's just a graph, right? So we really don't know. Still downloading? Nope, already done. Now it's down. Okay. All right. Delete. So there you have it. It's another widget we can uh, add to the system. Um, it's um, this kind of look. But in the end, at some point in time, your complete bar will be filled with between clamors, rubbish. And um, you have to decide which one to keep and which one not to keep. And maybe we should add a widget as well in between or something. I don't know. Why not? Let's see how it looks. Just like that. Yeah. We'll put the code in there. It's not, well, the thing is you need to, to make your own configuration from now on. I mean, we provide you with a workable configuration and it's still up to you to figure out, hey, I would like to have a widget like this, widget like that and change it. And with some tutorials like these and figure out, I, may, I mean, figure out yourself, but also learn via tutorials on YouTube you'll know how to, to figure out uh, Qtile, how these things work. But I feel, I don't know, 
of course what your experience is but i feel it's quite straightforward with this um, information that we have available here on this uh, docsqtile.org and of course maybe i should in, in invite you as well to to google actually um, you know that the configuration file is config.py and all you have to do and that's what i did years ago with i3 i just started reading configurations <laughs> yeah so somebody has put put here this this thing up here and you can check out sorry is this um interesting is this config.py nicer than what i have and does it include things that i want etc so comparing notes is interesting to do uh, it's it's not an easy thing i see because i haven't seen anything i like at this point in time but um well yeah comparing notes with other users of Arco linux to say i've made this i've made that that's what uh, discord is for that's the forum is for uh, share your code with each other help each other out and say look i have found this or I tweak this and I change that and share it with others. And that's what Arc Linux slash Linux is all about. Share the knowledge, share the configuration files so we can all enjoy it. All right, have fun making your own config pie.